Hello and welcome to Path Path Pillars of Eternity. I don't know where I took those paths from. I don't think there's any reason for us to but oh after six months the previous iron bonds become more powerful in the same order they were received. Okay. But I think Hmm I'll give you one athletics. Um I'll just wait, it was athletics? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just put it more into it. Uh, I think she does benefit from survival. Um, maybe aspirant's mark? Maybe. Rhyme summon? Summon if you must not know with that with we did that. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, I didn't fix that yet. I know the keep is still in rather poor conditions. But I am working on that. We still need to earn more money. It at least up, yeah. And there's something here. Yeah, and it's broken. <laughs> it is still broken. Okay, let's go back. Back down. It's a shame there's no shortcut for us to take. No, we must go all the way down. I mean, not all the way down, but down here and then down here, I believe. Oh, we can use this place? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just go this way and we will deal with that one Zurib that we've left. And I do want to see what's down the sacrificial pit. I am fairly sure. I think I know what's down there, but I'm gonna check it. Zorb is lying in Condor to check it. Oh, Sagani's queens at the creature. This one's ill. See how dull the eyes are. Hmm. The Zori barely makes a sound. There is a muted, well, the gargle, and then the creature lies still, blood pooling beneath the withered body. Soon enough, its eyes are glassy, empty of life. Sagali notes, a quick death. Yep. I didn't want to leave it down here all, all alone, given that everything else is dead already. Eh. This white pit descends into a grim darkness. You hear the whistling howl of wind, and from time to time, hot gusts of air tug at your clothing. Use gra grappling hook. We have it for a reason. You take a grappling hook from your pack and tie it off neatly around one of the heavy stone blocks surrounding the pit. A few hard tugs suggest that the rope will hold fast. Keeping a firm hold on the rope, you begin your descent into the darkness. Soon the edge of the pit is far above your head and you can hear only the creak of the rope and your own breath. Soon enough, however, you see another source of light, far below. Past the dangling end of the rope, you can see a dimly lit room, at the center of which is a circular stone pool. The pool is filled with blood, and even at this distance you can pick out various limbs and mangled bodies, largely Zorib in nature. The tunnel bored into the stone ends a ways above the chamber below, and your rope extends no further. Well, let's jump down. Bracing yourself for the landing, you loosen your hold, dropping down the remaining distance to land within the pool of blood with a noisy splash. The thick, murky waters hinder your swimming, threatening to pull you down into the unseen depths of this grim pit. But at last you crest the surface and pull yourself up and over the brim. You find yourself at the edge of a reeking, sludgy mixture of blood and limbs.
this does no this doesn't sound like the floor directly below the corpse is draped over the edge of the booth contorted in the force of what must have been his final agony rotting skeletal hands still clutch towards his throat limbs and organs bob in this mire of blood and crystal the carnage stirs with the occasional gust of wind from the tunnel above. Where the hell are we? We haven't been here. Level 5. This paper... This appears to be a page torn from some larger text. Skeida did not make it. I know Merrick tried his best. No point in turning back now. That's what Merrick is saying. I think the point is leaving these ruins alive. We have lost half of our people already, and I am not sure how we are meant to survive this place, especially with Skeida gone. The gods were kind to let us find that study in the books there. Those tomes would fetch a good price in and of themselves. We don't need to go any further. But that seal has stirred his blood. He's sure we'll find more and Griffin relics below. Every step takes us further from a guaranteed hole and deeper into unknown territory. I don't know what madness has gripped him. I cannot stop thinking about Edriga. The way she screamed. Damn it! I pressed F6 instead of F5. <laughs> yeah, I did... I changed the binding on the keys. Also. How about that? Oh, you see? Huh? Oh. Oh. Zorip. Okay. More Zorips. Quick. Casters, move your butt. You, you really need to... Yes? Stop casting that. Fairly injured, the glitch is amazing. Yes. You also do that. Barely injured. Oh. Where am I? Wait. Here, I'm here. Following your lead. I honestly have no idea what's wrong with me. Yes. What happened? Yes, it is bound to elf. Oh, deal 100 draw damage to enemies with beard. To unlock the next level. In the guild, the most famous scepter in Aether and perhaps all of Eora is held jointly by the Mequin and Ferconich as a symbol of loyal authority and is said to carry the souls of early chieftains in its utter head. Though traditionally thought of a symbolic, there have been a few noticeable times in history when it was put to practical use. In one such instance, McQueen Elia for, uh, first had her claim to the throne challenged by an older half-sister claiming to be legitimate heir. Elia invited her to court so that P 
people might hear her words with their own ears and judge for themselves. The woman spoke at length and showed a number of sworn documents to those present at court. Elia summoned her to the throne and told her that if the chieftains of Inegur judged her worthy, the McQueen would abdicate. Okay. Nice and easy now. Oh, I didn't see. Uh, wait. Nice. We do need to be more careful though. That's interesting to kill. Nope, nope, nope. It's champion, not the champion. Okay, so we have a lot of zords here. By the way, can we rest? Yes, we can rest in here, just in case. I need to know that. At the edge of this expensive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Zorips, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody remnants of a recent meal, goblets of flesh still speared on crooked fangs. The Zorips shift anxiously, looking up expectantly at the drake as the beast stretches leathery wings in challenge, brushing the pillars to either side. Yes, yes, more sacrifice! It flaps its wings briefly and stirs up great clouds of dust. Come here, godlike, be honored! You speak. The trick stamps one cold foot upon the ground. I speak, and stone shakes. I speak, and lizard bring gold. I speak, and eat well. Yes, I speak. These Zorib sacrifice to you. Are you the master below? Master below is below. Sacrifice is not very smart. You think you see a section of the trick's scale chest begin to glow orange as it laughs? Master made me lord. <laughs> here, here I am king. Flames gout from its nostrils and gaping jaws. I am god of fire and gold. Oh, well, fuck. Run! Like I said, run! All of you, run! No. Do the run. Keep on running. Of course he can move through doors. Why wouldn't he? Damn. Yes. Uh, you know what? Let's try doing this. Can you hinder his? Yep. Uh, can you do something? Yep. Do this. Wounding uh, shot. Following your lead. Uh, I think you can summon some of his cards. I mean, those can. Oh, who's that? No, 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 no. I regret nothing. You see, there's how many of them? Right now, there's six. Can you do that again? Yep. Come 
I'm here. Okay, I am back. Duran is at safe distance. Uh, and I'll do this on you. What's happening? Um, switch. The sound is bugged. Okay, sound is bugged. He's been knocked out, but he is alive. Okay. Can you take that poor breath? Thank you. I think this one is the last one. Lavaru be on seek. Croak ten. Quit with serious meeting. Yes. How may I help? Get up. And now we're gonna rest. Because I don't wanna go through that again. Thank you. Oh, again. Oh, three of you. Uh, start with that. Are a nuisance, really. Ooh, Ilfan Burning Solace. This is a shield for you, and a milk of health. Okay, let's try those out uh, because apparently you are using door. Yeah, you're as better. But for you, I think I'll give you the shield as well, but you would need a one-handed weapon for that. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Okay. Which is not very. Uh, of the vague shapes of Kif are visible in the coal black ash coating the brickwork. Does this lead Upstairs or downstairs? I think it goes further down. And what does the flame reveal? We must be cutting close. I can feel it in my bones. Also, the architecture has changed. Sky. 
Predator Fighter. Parathis! Yeah. Oh, there's more then. So, um, I don't think that's necessary. Actually, just give him. Yes. Special Proactive. 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 Guy and the four of you will hit me. All right, then. Let's see what lies this way. Fine. Quickness. If it's not the whole army, we deal with them rather efficiently. You're not getting through me. I shall be discreet. Of course. Of course, I forgot to unmute my microphone. Uh, so difficult. Serious me. All I wanted was this bottle. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, today is not my day. Really? Leave it to me. Quit with serious me. Not this. Okay, great. And what does the flame? You're not getting through. Quit. Save Don't you have another weapon that you can use right now? Yes, of course you can use another weapon. Uh, you do this. You do this. We are on the Bridge. We are not gonna be fighting each other. You really are weak. All right then. Oh, what was that? The seal? I just saw my item and I instantly clicked it. Sapphire Overseer Seal. This seal appears to be Anguithan in origin form of a circle piece of white atra shaped around a sapphire gem. 
on the back is an engraving of a stylized eye. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This space above alcove is carved with simple hieroglyphs. Ooh. I do not believe that we'll ever leave this place. I wonder, I wonder if Merak still does. It's just the two of us now. As it was when this all began. And the longer we stay, the more certain I am that it will be how it ends, too. We barely escaped the drake. I cannot help but think it must simply not have been hungry at the time. I would call us lucky, but we will have to pass it again on the way back up. I found Andra, so I don't think he was alive for long. After that fall, but he made use of his time. The entire pool reeked of Mokka's tears. The crooked bastards always did love his poisons. Uh, so you are the reason that everything here is screwed. Oh well. Margaret's fire hey, casts light in dark places. Uh, yes, you should be in the front. Everyone else behind you. Quick. You start doing your thing. You also do your thing. For your own safety. Two or three of you, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. You hit him. Where is this guy? Why? Oh, because I changed your weapon, god damn it. Cast it over here. Cast it on yourself. That's not very good. I must admit this is really effective. Your tail ends here. Right away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Quietly now. Yes, quietly. The sarcophagus has been pillaged, it co its content removed. The skeleton within has been all but destroyed. Scroll cracked into several pieces. Hmm. Tell me, do you feel any different? A little ill, perhaps? No, I feel fine. Why do you ask? I have heard it said that the Anwifians set curses upon their bones for thieves to find. It seems the tales are false. Uh, and I am glad for it, of course. Weasel. How big is this place? Not that big. But I do wonder if each of those also, oh, if each of the floors has their yeah. own boss to fight. Um. Why? Why is he once again at the back? Poor doggy will be dead, yeah. Yes. Following your lead. Maybe this floor 
is just about a lot of enemies. This one doesn't know who it who it wants to hit. Okay, he's doing something. Oh. What? Let's see what lies this way. Nope, 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 nope. mean you have almost 500 health, right? Yep. Yeah. That's a lot of them. Let's get a little bit closer. So we can throw a proper fireball on this guy, I guess. Nope. Okay, too close, too close, too close. Um. I'm here. I know you're here. Following your lead. I think if they have those three dots Ladies above their heads, they won't be doing anything, which is extremely weird. But it helps me just see who is not doing anything. I no, no, I hate you. <sighs> Hello? Is someone there? Oh god, I can't... I can't see! I'm here. I cannot hear myself. How am I to tell her anything? Please, there's nothing here. Please, will I never be out of this place? You are a gulping sub. T -t Turn her back! Come no further! The gods cannot reach us! Oh, but there was a note. I told her. I told her. Please, please let me out. Let me out. Let me out. This piece of parchment is barely legible, having been held tightly in a bloody fist. The one clear portion of it reads, Find the remaining two seals, so long as we live afterwards, as Merrick promised. Get the books and the final seal from the fourth floor, and run the rest of the way out of here. We'll find some new bra band of fools willing to take on the endless paths. Sell them the keys to the deeper vaults. Let them have all the glory. Meanwhile, we retire and live a long and quiet life. Somewhere warm, I hope. Somewhere far away from here. Two large, heavy doors door bar passage forward. In the archway above the doors there are three, are three small round depressions, encircled by faded symbols. Each appear to have one contained an to have once contained an object, but all three are currently empty. Examining the left one. At the center of the left depression is an stylized image of an eye. Place the sapphire seal into the left socket. You fit the sapphire seal carefully into place. Uh, examine the middle socket. The center of the middle socket, there is an elaborate engraving of a sword. And the right socket, uh, engraving of a hammer. Okay. Okay, thank you. What marvelous craftsmanship. I don't think anyone has opened this in quite some time. Yeah, so do I.
But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna respond again. Because we need to I shall be discreet. Find. Leave it to me! Eh, yeah, with pleasure. Mm. You place yourself place yourself here and start doing this. Which one? The wizard here. Two of those are enough to kill a wizard. I'm gonna solve this. The space above the alcove is carved with simple hieroglyphs. No. Something's wrong with me. I know. Done. Done. This appears to be carved peridot hammer. Okay, but where's the last one? Did I? Hmm. Let's put it in here. I think I miss, missed it. Um, on the fourth floor, the floor above the right socket. Buried it. Okay, and leave. So we must go back to the floor of all the Zorips. Sounds like a great plan. But for now, I'm gonna end this part here. So, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.